You know, this last month was the best time I've ever had with anyone. heard your voicemail outgoing message it's pretty cute um i'd really like to talk about last night so if you give me a call Maggie, please don't skip this voicemail. Um, I don't know if you're listening to these or not, but um, I really mess things up. And usually when I do that, you kind of tell me what to do. But you're not answering any of my calls, so I don't know what to do. Um. Oh, it's Brian from, from school. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Just please call me before you leave town, okay, please? Okay. You said to come now. I, I didn't know you're doing a thing. I'm no, I'm not. My... I'm. I made this breakfast. Frittata with no mushrooms and some uh, coffee and croissants and apples and coffee and stuff. And I thought that, I don't know, I thought that we could talk for a, a bit. We've talked and, you know. We've been through this. I say how I feel and you how you feel and then like we don't get anywhere. So. I just want to grab my camera and go, please. Okay. <laughs> Did you get any messages? I've been kind of busy packing. 
and subletting my place and putting my things into storage because I'm leaving the country and it would have been really nice to have some help. Okay, well, I, I would have helped if you'd answered any of my calls or, or read any of my messages. You mean your six-part opus of an apology? So you did read it? Yeah, I read it. You really gotta give me some space, no. Brian. Excuse me? I don't wanna do space. I'm leaving. It's no, not really up to you. I know, I know that Italy is literally far away and we'll have space between us, but I, I mean, we can't leave things the way they are right now and then have you leave the country. I, and I, I don't even know when the fuck you're coming back. I mean, what if you don't come back to this? I mean, what? Do you remember last year at Drew's party? Yeah. We were really drunk and then we went pool hopping after and then we went back to my house and got even more drunk. And then you said the AC was making you cold so that we should take a shower together. Yeah. Yeah. And then that happened, and then we never talked about it. And it really mattered, Brian. Talk! I didn't know what to do, okay? I, I mean, I thought that things were gonna change between us, and, and I mean, it really felt like that's what you wanted. I did. I didn't, okay? And I, I didn't know how to say that. And, and then I said nothing, which was wrong, and I'm really, really sorry. But what if I told you that, and then you didn't want to be friends anymore? What would you, you decide that you hated me? I mean, I, I can't... I'm sorry. So what, are you just, are you just gonna go? Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'll email you from my hostel. Yes, please, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm sorry, I was such a fucking mess, thank you. Get your bike off my car. Yes, miss. So, I'll talk to you. We'll talk. Have a great trip. It's not written in stone The perfect words between the lines They won't bring you home They can't turn back time Looked under every stone The perfect words between the Thank